Hi dear viewers, welcome to this coffee cup reading. This coffee cup is for all Taurus and it's for November onwards 2023. I hope you'll enjoy this coffee cup. It has so much, so much my dear Aunt Taurus, absolutely incredible. As I'm talking about it, I'm showing it to you. And <clears throat> for those of you who are new to the coffee cup, please be aware of be mindful that um, prior to this I meditate and I get a lot of messages I connect with the guiding angels of every Taurus that watches this and I'm given information which I write it on a piece of paper and deliver it to you right at the end so stay tuned for that glasses on and let me begin welcome my dear viewers welcome each and every one of you I hope let's see you'll enjoy this reading I see the connection between the beginning and the end is quite intriguing this shows that you are going to enjoy a lot of pleasures, a lot of satisfaction. You know, something that you have done so well, you have earned it, and the rewards are ongoing, non-stop. I feel like you're transcending a, a, a section of your life. You're um, being uplifted to higher levels. A lot of positive movement forward. I'm seeing a beautiful boat here, which shows you are going to get exactly what you need. I'm seeing a uh, number eight here twice. Eight, elevation to higher levels. Chinese year of the goat is eight also, but also people born in, uh, in August, which are Leo and Virgo. But the most important factor about the eight is transcending you to higher levels. That's what I'm seeing here. Paying attention to detail is going to make a big difference. You need to pay attention to detail so that you won't make any mistake. There are two important factors um, that could cause some havoc, you know, if, if you don't pay attention. Checking your work with accuracy is very important. Some of you are considering starting uh, learning something new or upgrading your skills, perhaps. I'll just put this over here, away from my hand <laughs> so my hand can be free okay so as i was saying learning a trade maybe or something uh, of that sort or maybe upgrading uh, current skills that you have applying yourself you're applying yourself to something you're paying attention to something you're learning something new you need to be a bit cautious with the money so that you don't make any um you know um quick decisions you have to be very careful so you don't make any quick decisions i feel like um good times now is a perfect time now to begin something new and learn and, and and move forward with that because i do see a new beginning and this new beginning is bringing you a lot of prosperity heaps of prosperity is coming uh, this is a good time for starting something new starting some uh, sort of project maybe or you know possessions buying things there's a lot of success here extraordinary success a lot of prosperity coming there's growth and there's so if you start a project anything you wanted to start before this is the time to do it because prosperity is going to help you move forward with this trust in your own instinct and your ideas you know there's so much your intuition it tells you And you can rely on friends and family because they want to be supportive. If they do want to support, let them. It's okay. Um, you know, I feel like uh, you could do well together. My goodness, number eight again. What is this? I feel like there is a mystery here. Now that I've got triple eight, there's a mystery about something. Something mysterious. Life is going to show you a mystery. Now this, uh, moving on from this, and of course, don't forget transcending. Eight is about leveling up ranking up to higher levels uh, financially life-wise everything just everything booms and it's amazing i'm seeing a great gift here a wonderful gift now this could be a sudden windfall because there is a big large lump of sum of money but it's not something like usually i see this is different this is a, attached to a treasure that's destined and comes from lifetime after lifetime it's as though this is destined for you this is a sudden windfall it could be some big generosity comes to you somebody leaves you a, a chunk of money it's something magnificent and very big some of you could be taking a holiday that's how big it is or maybe buying something big uh like you know giving to others people that you love helping out big money that you can do so much with it's coming I feel like it is, it's, it's the beginning of wealth because I'm seeing 
abundance, a life of abundance, a life of luxury, a life of buying and splurging and and happy and comfort and leisure and and wishes are coming true. Taking care of your health, eating well, balancing. It's just magnificent. Absolutely amazing. Incredible. And I feel like it's all happening um, within three. Could be three months, three weeks. Could be in March, starting in March. But three is there. On top of all the eights, remember? Three eights and then a three. You're going to be thinking so deeply, so deeply about this. It's like you have a diamond in your hand and you're thinking, wow, what can I do? What more can I do? Like, so excited. You're thinking deeply. You might be meeting someone that thinks very deeply also, like yourself, someone like yourself, who is a deep thinker. I feel like it's someone connected to the Chinese zero of the rabbit, cat, snake, or the rooster. You're clinging too tightly onto something. You're holding on to something so tight. You've got to be a bit loose. You've got to let loose. You've got to let go a little so that everything moves smoothly. The more you try to hold on to things, to try to control them, the harder it becomes for you to, to have inner peace. If you're having emotional upset, then it's affecting maybe something in your um, bowels or maybe your stomach or finding it hard to swallow something or finding it hard to sort of um, balance something within your body I just feel like uh, watching your diet is very important just look at the nutrients excuse me my deviles I gotta drink some water all of a sudden I had my throat dried up so there you go water my dear Taurus, you've got to drink water. I guess this happened to let you know that Taurus forgets to drink water. You need so much replenishment. Especially if you're born in the Chinese year of the horse or if you're born in the Chinese year of the goat. But horse out of all, number one, Chinese year of the buffalo, ox. Drink water. Make sure you drink water so that you don't get dizzy and you get so uh, dehydrated. Out of the blue, I just got dehydrated and I remembered. This is important. And they're talking, they're showing me here, swallowing and something to do with the digestive or the bowels. Now the bowels could not be moving well if there is lack of water. But I feel like because of all that sudden rush, the need for water, uh, I was talking about nutrients and your food, making sure that the food you're eating is providing you the proper amounts of nutrients. So important for good health it's it's shown here i've got to talk about it because it's here it's, it's your guardian angels you know nominating everything and you know paying attention to the small things sometimes you might neglect the small things so you're seeing the bigger picture and 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 taking care of everything else success money is all coming just uh, take care of your health more than anything else okay so there are a few choices confronting you and you're torn whether to, to go this way or that way you really need to make a decision and you're sort of putting it aside it's about problems to do with commitment perhaps committing to something well you know whatever it is whether it's a relationship whether it's building a home whether it's buying a property whether it's starting a new career whether it's buying a business whatever it is you have to be so careful with your decision. You've got to listen to your higher self together with your mind to make the decision. It looks to me that there is only one correct answer. And that correct answer is the truth that's within you. You already know that. Deep inside of your heart, you already know. So if you try... If you make other decisions and you see that other decisions are not working, you'll see straight away the signs will be there showing you this is not working. As soon as you see the signs, you just got to stop and go back to the original uh, decision or correct answer. So that's very important. I feel like there could be some deception, some envy around you that might not be helping you make the right decision. Um... And sometimes you're too afraid to talk. You're too afraid to, to say what you feel or what you want to those that are around you. You know, um, 
maybe this is to do with investing or taking risks you've just got to be very careful and and not take things like the way they look look deeper and you know and pay big attention so there won't be any mistakes i do feel like there is some sort of loss and sorrow there's arguments there's problems to do with separation to do with incompatible think mindsets uh, there could be um, some emotional upheaval because you're not on the same wavelength with someone and somehow you may be feeling this person isn't understanding you or maybe is betraying you or maybe even um, there could be mistakes made um, I feel like there is going to be a separation for sure with this person or at least time out from each other to understand or try to to reach to some sort of level. You're two different people. It's not your fault. It's not their fault. It's just that you're so different in so many ways. And each one of you thinks in a separate way, like so far out from each other. So that's why I mean, sometimes you clash, you know, and, and you don't know. You know, this could be happening between even siblings. I mean, it doesn't have to be a relationship or even with, you know, somebody you're working with, a workmate or a boss or, you know, a business partner. So what I'm saying here, there could be some financial material changes where you might be lacking in some way. And then all of a sudden that situation comes and helps you financially big time. But you might be struggling for some time before that happens. Nothing will be wasted, whatever you're doing. Um whenever you're dealing with anything no matter how challenging your efforts are not going to be wasted so that that is wonderful to know so you are protected uh, being gentle on yourself and those around you is very important to overcome a challenge i also feel like you know there may be emotional or financial worries insecurity some of you because of your work maybe um health issues you've got to be very careful uh, in regard to uh something to do with finances maybe financial issues but you know this financial issues i keep getting it but i saw the maybe this came a bit later it's weird i'm seeing a, a little bit of patience and you're going to get this so the, the financial freedom i saw wasn't now that's why you are feeling this way yes yeah, so a little bit of timing a little bit of patience and you are you are going to be free you are going to heal your financial situation is going to skyrocket you are going to be very well off very very wealthy even though it doesn't look like it now, but there is a situation or a relationship or something that needs really slowing down, not seeing each other too much. There's um, something like an argument that might exceed or there are some problems here. I can see them. And the more you see each other, perhaps the more it's going to be, uh, there's going to be a lot of conflict. So somebody wants sort of like time out and you need that time out there's a lot of thinking there's somebody here virgo also i see um a virgo time to think mm, nine nine's connected to virgo in some ways it is um but i do see somebody is protecting you are protected You need to make decisions cautiously and take advice from others. Listen to those who have wisdom. I feel like, you know, you're looking for some answers. And these answers are so important because they are connected to something really big. And you're all tied up. You're not sure how to move. It's like you're... Uh, like you're in chains, you know, you're not you're restricted or in chains or not able to move the way you want as though there are boundaries, maybe. But there are changes coming, major changes being in the present now and think about dream about the future what you want to do but in the present now you know because when we dream about things everything possible but when it comes to the reality to the crunch of the matter sometimes it could be complicated success is coming but you need to rest and relax you need that's more essential than anything else you need to take care of your health you need the you need to take a break you need to have really a fundamental need for time out and healing maybe those of you who have been like um maybe emotionally or maybe even physically tired mentally tired 
you need to be real and true to who you are and how you feel. And I feel like that is going to be so much con contributes towards you towards you reaching an end of a chapter, a very painful chapter or, or a very comic chapter. Honesty is very essential. Speak with love, but speak the truth. That's what I always say. Speak the truth, speak it with love so that you can speak it. But I do see something is going to come up around November. Mm. Heavenly signs are there showing you some signs. You'll start seeing some heavenly signs about changes, about things that are coming on. And guess what? About a karmic chapter coming to an absolute end a situation that you were dealing with someone uh, was a lifetime kind of maybe years of like a connection there is a disconnection it's as though this person was part of your life journey and then they sort of it comes to an ending now this person might not completely leave your life but this it is coming to uh, a sort of like um, if you're working together maybe you're retiring or somebody's retiring if you're in a relationship you might be ending a relationship sorry I'm just fixing these glasses okay um, but you are going to go through a lot of realizations you'll understand why certain things happen and what was the reason for everything and a lot will be explained to you and uh, you know through realization through um, your guardian angels, like they're going to let you know why everything happened. I feel like some of you are starting a new page, a new career, a new phase of life. And some of you literally a new career. Mm. Uh, I do see integrity here is, is really needed in, in taking responsibility for your actions. Very important. Every action has an effect. So you've got to be very, very careful the the um, decisions you make. You, It's in regard to something you've been decisive about, not sure how to go. You need to move forward. There are agreements. There are a lot of uh, situations, contracts, papers, documents. But there are there is also justice. And justice is assured. So it's going to work for you, which is wonderful. Again, the situation is happening within eight, eight weeks, something like that around eight it could be eight days eight weeks i'm seeing a very nurturing power supporting you there's growth self-development success that brings you freedom and material comfort now material comfort shows material comfort big time a lot of money you're spending so much money on getting outdoors you've been indoors for too long there's a lot of pleasure also sensual pleasure your health is becoming better. Your health is booming. There could be a loving relationship, a very nurturing one, but I also see abundance and I see abundance coming uh, all over the place. You're standing at the beginning of a beautiful journey. This could be a journey of love, into love. So be ready for those of you who are about to get enter into uh my god again another eight i'm shocked what is this eight you're surrounded with eight my dear taurus what is this okay so chinese year of the goat again august something big is going to happen in august next year anyway um i feel like this is now this is going to sound a bit strange and bizarre i feel like you there's specific synchronicities that have taken place in your life whether you've noticed or not i feel like you might be meeting someone that you've incarnated here together and you belong to the same bloodline or you did belong to ancestral times you were together or something like that your souls are united but there is something really deep and very profound and you'll feel it when you meet this person whether you are going to be having a relationship with this person or not having something else with this person it is going to be spectacular. The soul union is going to be amazing. For some, it's going to be the beginning of an incredible romance. Um, the attraction is going to be overwhelming. The sensuality is going to be overwhelming. The relationship is going to be spectacular. Now, if it's not a relationship, but if it's a, just a friendship or partnership, it is going to be making a big impact in your life. And you are going to make a very deep decision about this like you know you could say like something like um there's going to be a lot of healing when you meet this person 
a lot of connection gives you a lot of healing it's like a spiritual partnership and yet you know if it's love then there's no problems but when it's not love when it's someone that you meet and you are on such uh, deep connection that you might be just friends you know if you are for example uh, already in a relationship or not ready to do a relationship uh, or you know you might already be in a relationship that you might meet this person i don't know but it's a spiritual union unlike anything you've had in this lifetime and guess what my dear taurus this person has very strong deep fire in them fire energy sagittarius aries leo either one a very deep profound friendship connected lifetime after lifetime together when you meet each other and you know you're free or single the attraction and it's going to be overwhelming the connection is going to be electrical it's going to be a, a meeting that you have never experienced someone that's very supportive very loving and very 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 deep and sensual and intelligent wow all that together so I see a doorway opening, one that's filled with light, one that is so amazing. And in this door that opens, there's so much light and there is so much healing and there's so much happiness. I see a beautiful dove hovering over this door with the light, bringing you a lot of peace and freedom. It's like this person is going to be someone like like a hero. I see a hero here. I'm shown as though, you know, somebody wants to be your hero or you want to be the hero for someone. It could be that. But there's a lot of caring connections beyond your expectations. A lot of changes are bringing these on. And you know what's amazing about all this? Love? You know how I said it's to do with um, fire energy? And I said Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Now I'm seeing something really bizarre. One, two, three, four. I'm seeing four wa uh, water bearer, which is Aquarius. Four of them, two and two, four Aquarius. Aquarius to the highest level, Aquarius. Um, Aquarius is the water bearer. They're not a water energy, they're air energy. It doesn't go well with earth unless they've got in them uh, a lot of fire, a lot of earth that makes them that perfect um connection that i was talking about because it's got to be perfect you've got to unite on the element sides also nothing can be a perfect soulmate an amazing connection and you are you know uh, not compatible your star signs and element they have to be and so does your chinese one and so does the year you're born all that makes a difference anyhow so for aquarius here that means Aquarius, the highest level that you are going to be overwhelmed with or consumed with around November. So this cup is for November. You're dealing with a, someone that has a lot of Aquarius in them and Aquarius has taken over your cup. Then there are two Libras with to do with air energy, one Gemini, but two Libras only. Mostly we're talking about Aquarius. So that was the high. Oh, wow. And there's the Sagittarius. There's the archer. One, two, three archers. So we're talking Sagittarius and there are two rams, Leo. Okay, so Leo's there too. So you've got Sagittarius and, Le uh, and Aries, sorry, not Leo, Aries, the ram. I don't know why I said the ram. I said Leo. It's a mistake. Aries, um, uh, Aries are the ram. But uh, maybe because there's no Leo, there's Sagittarius, three Sagittarius, two Aries. So that impacts Sagittarius big time. Um... And I'll just see a bit deeper here. I'm seeing Earth, Earth being, um, you know, Earth energies. We've got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And uh, there isn't any of them doubled. So just the normal Earth energy, they will have Earth in them, which is good. That's what I was waiting for, to have Earth. When you have Earth with someone, uh, my dear Taurus, that's when you are absolutely complete. Why I say that, yes, you could complete somebody that has air. But I don't want to teach astrology here, so I won't bother you with all that. Um, I'll talk about the next thing I see. But you are going to unite well with this person, fire and earth together. With air, it's okay. That will make your sex life explode, explosive. So that's all right. That's the electricity that is going to be very inspirational. Now, talking about water energy here, I'm seeing water and I'm seeing Pisces 2, Scorpio 2, Cancer just one one cancer two scorpio two pisces so they might have water energy in them now what's important is water goes perfectly well with earth 
right? And you are earth, my dear Taurus. So this person will thrive when they're with you. You will replenish when you are with them. You feel also hydrated because of the water. Fire ignites everything, regenerates you. So this the Sagittarius that we saw, three of them, and Aries too. Either one will be in this. Don't forget there are millions of uh, Taurus with different, um, you know, um, different elements within them. So and different uh, star signs within them, ascendants and everything. They all play a role. So what I'm saying is, I see an amazing air energy that you are consumed with, Aquarius being the highest and the second Libra, and a little bit of Gemini. For some, for the minority will be Gemini, for the majority is Aquarius. So that's how they rank, with the numbers, the intensity and the ranking, so you know. Uh, and then we've got fire, which is Sagittarius, three of Sagittarius, two Aries, that means Sagittarius. We're talking about fire. And air gives it a blast, and then there is earth there, and you are earth. It just makes it amazing. With the water, it just, uh, a touch of water is going to cool all that heat, and it is going to replenish you. So we are talking about an amazing blend of um, connection. Like when you drink wine, and there's that, um, you know, when you mix like Merlot with Pinot Noir, and put Grenache, and, and, and you make that that sort of like, a cocktail of wines which they're doing nowadays and 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 you get that incredible uh taste maybe it wasn't a good example i'm not a very good <laughs> i'm not good at examples but i try to put it together somehow so you can understand it's a blend of someone so spectacular that you will be uh really excited when you're around them something ignites within you now what's amazing chinese year of the dog one two three four dogs here chinese year of the dog so that means they could be chinese year of the dog they could mean it could mean you are the chinese year of the dog that this is nominated you could means that you could be there's four dogs so you you might be a dog lover so there might be um you know you could be the person might have dogs that could be another possibility chinese year of the tiger is the next one chinese year of the tiger and the dog and the tiger are family usually, so they might go well together. I've got the horse here. One, two, three horses. Chinese year of the horse. The horse goes beautifully well with the dog. Chinese year of the dragon. Wow, big time dragon. Mm, horses also. There's three of them, three dragons. Chinese year of the dragon, big time. The dragon goes beautifully with the goat, and the goat is not here. Okay, so... um then I see the monkey here, Chinese of the monkey. The monkey goes well with a dog. Um, the monkey goes also well with a cat, rabbit, but there's no cat rabbit here. Doesn't matter. Um, I move along to see what else is there. There's Chinese of the goat. Oh, wow, there's two goats here. Chinese, no, three, one, two, three goats. Chinese of the goat, which goes beautifully with the dragon. The goat goes well also with the horse. And um, and it goes well with the dog, believe it or not. So that is wonderful. This person could be someone that you are overwhelmed with, consumed with, and that we've got their star sign now. We've got their Chinese year to give you an idea. Or it could be your Chinese year and theirs. Like, for example, you could be uh, the Chinese year of the dog and you're dealing with someone born the Chinese year of the horse. You know, It could be like that. So either way. Now, the dog doesn't go with the dragon, so I can't say with the dragon. Uh, the dragon goes only with the goat, and the dragon goes with the rooster, which we didn't have a rooster here. Now, happiness to the highest level. Your dreams, wishes coming true. I see a wish being granted here. A lot of desires being granted, so you will be very happy sensually, I'd say. Uh, a problem is getting solved, which is really wonderful. This is going to give you a lot of happiness, and there is uh, a relationship based on a lot of intimacy. A lot of love making, a lot of that. Wow, this is giving you emotional peace. Finally, you're getting some peace, and I see a lot of your dreams are coming true very soon. Mm, beautiful, a lot of rewards, a lot of material. Also, money is coming in from different avenues, different angles, and you are keeping fit, taking care of your health, and that is amazing. Wow, oh my god, I have to do this quickly. I forgot about timing. My dear viewers, I was going so slow. <laughs> I've got to speed through this. Okay. It says in three, you will know. You'll know something. Protect your feet, your ankles. Protect your feet and your ankles. 
uh, your leg, ankle, feet, toes. In three, you will know, three weeks, three months, a new path, something new, a new path is starting. Maybe three months by January, something big is happening. There is going to be a phone call, a phone call, like just that, something really big, news of some sort. Something about someone's looks, you might be very attracted to someone. Um, there's something about a towel, okay, a towel represents cover, represents care, it, it represents throwing in the towel, like surrendering. Okay, I was given a towel. Something about herbs, paying attention to herbs and replenishing your body maybe with nutrients, I was talking about that. Someone with high IQ that you might be dealing with, someone with high IQ, you are my home. Somebody considers you your home, or you might be considering someone your home. You are you you are gonna unite with this person on a very high level. It says you are gonna get much wiser or dealing with someone much wiser. Justice again, justice here, justice will prevail for you. You are gonna be in a very good position. Something about chilies, maybe planting chilies in the garden, something like that. But chilies also represent uh, battles and conflict. Um and maybe cayenne pepper chili the best chili is cayenne pepper so to plant cayenne pepper and to bring it into your life you'll be uh, you'll be doing your body um, a big deal of um, healing cayenne pepper within reason of course so you're free to go something lets you feel that you're free to go you can do whatever you want but something says not yet you're unhappy and it's not now it's not yet but you will be free to go Okay, Christmas lights. Something happens at Christmas time. Something happens temporary. And and that's that. Now I'm going to go through the names, uh, the initials. I've got I for Indigo, England. I mean, no, I for Ian, sorry. Um, I for Eileen. H for, I've got two H's, two H's. So H for Horse, Henry, Henrietta. Helen, <laughs> and then I've got two M's for money, Monica, Max, Mike, and uh, Mandy. Then I've got C for Con, Conrad, uh, C for Canada, C for, um, um, I think, Charlie. And um, I've got O for Olympics, Olivia, Oliver, G for Grant, G for Greece, G for Green, Grace, Gerald, Jeffrey, no, Gerald. Okay, George. And then I've got S for Samantha, S for Sam, S for Sweden, S for um, C for Charlie, uh, Char uh, C for Charlie and C for Charlotte. And then S for who else? Sean. I've got S for Sean, S for um, Shane. S for Steve, S for Stella, wow, and I've got E, E for England, E for Eve, Eddie, Ed, Ed, Eddie, Edward, okay, now I've got numbers I've got to go through, I've got number 10 was given to me twice, the Chinese year of the rooster, we didn't have it here, but it has come up here, 10 is about an end of a chapter, perhaps a karmic chapter of your life comes to an absolute end, it's happening from the time you see this, uh, starting October, you'll start seeing things. You might have started seeing things in October. But by 10 weeks from November, or within 10 weeks of November, you will start seeing the end of the chapter. You'll start knowing what chapter is coming to an end. Okay. And that ending brings you plenty afterwards. So 10 weeks into November. Uh, people born in October, which are Libra and Scorpio. Okay. And 10 is also connected to people born on the 10th of the month. So this is the rooster. Then we have number four, Chinese year of the rabbit, cat. So something big is going to happen in this year before it ends. Chinese year of the cat, rabbit, somebody born in April, which is Aries. My dear Taurus. And it's you also, Taurus. So you could be dealing with an Aries or Taurus. We had them both. We had Aries, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, four is about quick success coming your way and a lot of wealth coming very quickly and probably in the year of the rabbit cat and it's going to be four weeks from november onwards then finally chinese year of the rabbit i said that yes the next one is number nine and number nine is one challenge that you will resolve and it's connected to the chinese year of the monkey it's connected also to people born in september which are virgo and libra 
you had two libras here and also it is about one challenge that you will overcome then there comes a lot of entertainment and a lot of fun so nine nine weeks into november and that is the end of your reading don't forget christmas lights something happens at christmas and don't forget you are going to be free to go even though you're not now but you will be i hope you enjoyed this reading uh, my dear viewers do give me a thumbs up let me know what you think your comments i'll really welcome them and look forward to them and don't forget to watch your money reading that tells you a lot about your money exactly where you're at and where the money is coming from and your general to tell you the star sign combination of the person that you are going to be so excited about and you know how you go together and what happens i wish you abundance of blessings and a lot of love and love